Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the DJI Mavic 3 Classic. I've had the drone for a couple of months now and I must say I'm very pleased on how well this drone performs. It's a very slight upgrade from the Mavic 2 Pro but the color science just feels right this time. It has a 4 thirds CMOS Hasselblad camera, can record up to 5.1K at 50 FPS, can fly for 46 minutes, it has an omnidirectional optical sensing, 50 kilometers HD transmission, advanced return to home, and if you buy with the DJI RC controller, you're gonna have a 5.5 HD display, super bright. You can buy the drone from DJI in these three packages. The Mavic on its own, for 1529 the Mavic with a DJI RC N1 for 1629 and the Mavic with the DJI RC for 10 bit D log. This allows you to capture footage with natural color graduations with more highlight and shadow details retained for a greater flexibility when editing. Night shots. This video mode optimizes footage for low light scenarios such as sunsets or sunrises, reducing noise for clearer shots. Cruise control. This is my favorite setting. It allows you to control the Mavic 3 Classic when flying in any direction without having to continuously press the control sticks. Not only makes long distance flights more effortless, but also helps you reduce the shake during manual control for smoother camera movements. Waypoint flight. This allows you to set up automatic flight paths. I haven't actually used this setting too much, so we'll be taking a deeper dive into it soon. And of course, 4K 20 FPS, both high resolution and high frame rate. This is super cool and allows you to capture super smooth, slow motion. Thanks for watching this overview of the DJI Mavic 3 Classic. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences with the drone in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe for more videos like this.